there today we are going to talk about two words that we use every day and that is see and look they are like magic words for our eyes but did you know they are little bit different well don't worry it's not too tricky we will make it easy to understand for you so let's start our fun adventure into the world of see and look and find out how they help us talk about what we see around us well let's clear c first now c c is a verb used to describe the act of perceiving something with your eyes without making a conscious effort to do so that simply means ki hame dekhna pad jata hai hum uske liye koi effort nahi lagate jaise normally hum kisi cheez ko dekh lete hain without making any effort it is a passive action and it often occurs involuntary that means बिना हमारी मर्जी के अपने आप हम देख लेते हैं लेट्स सी सम एग्जाम्पल्स आई कैन सी द माउंटेन्स फ्रॉम द विंडो यू परसीव द माउंटेन्स आपने माउंटेन्स देखे विदाउट एक्टिवली ट्राइंग टू डू सो राइट ऑब्वियसली वेन यू आर लिविंग एट सम हिल स्टेशन और समथिंग सो ऑब्वियसली वेन यू विल ओपन द विंडो यू विल सी द माउंटेन्स ना देखना चाहो तब भी वो दिखेंगे दैट मीन्स यू आर सींग द माउंटेन्स लेट्स टेक अ लुक ऑन अनदर एग्जाम्पल दैट इज she saw a beautiful sunset now obviously that when we wake up in the morning we see sunset hum log dekhte hain sunset koi jaan kar nahi dekhte hum dekhte hi hain so she also noticed the sunset without intentionally looking for it right so let's clear our second word that is look now look is also a verb related to vision only right but it involves intentionally directing your gaze towards something specific That means कि आप किसी चीज को जान कर देखना चाह रहे हो आप चाहते हो कि आप उसे देखो इट इज एन एक्टिव एक्शन एंड इट रिक्वायर्स अ कॉन्शियस एफर्ट टू फोकस योर अटेंशन दैट मीन्स आप वॉलेंट्रीली आप देखते हो आप मेहनत करते हो एफर्ट डालते हो ताकि आप उस चीज को देखो फॉर एग्जाम्पल प्लीज लुक एट दिस पिक्चर Please look at this picture. Now you are actively directing someone to view a particular image. For example, जैसे मैं आपको कह रही हूँ look at this picture. So obviously I am telling you to look. तो आप effort डाल के यहाँ पर देखोगे The next example, I need to look for my keys. मुझे चाबी ढूंढनी नहीं है आई नीड टू लुक फॉर माई कीज नो आई एम मेकिंग अ डेलीबरेट एफर्ट टू सर्च फॉर माई कीज नाउ In conclusion, see is a passive perception of something with your eyes, right? And look, it is an active and intentional act of directing your gaze towards a specific object or scene. Now, as you are clear with the see and look meanings, let's see some additional examples to clarify. I saw a rainbow after the rain, right? So you notice the rainbow without trying. That means you see. You saw a rainbow after the rain. आपने देखा I looked at the rainbow and marveled at its color. Right? आपने जान कर रेनबो को देखा और आपने उसके कलर देखे कि हाउ ब्यूटिफुल दे आर दैट मीन्स यू एक्टिवली फोकस योर गेज ऑन द रेनबो नाउ लेट्स सी अनदर एग्जाम्पल ही सॉ द बुक ऑन द शेल्फ बुक पड़ी थी शेल्फ पर एंड ही सॉ ही नोटिस द बुक दैट मीन्स विदाउट एनी एफर्ट राइट But he looked at the book to find the information he needed. उसको जो information चाहिए थी उसने book खोली उसके लिए book देखी उसके लिए He looked at the book. That means he intentionally directed his attention to the book to search for the information that he requires. Right? So now I guess it's clear to you. Let's have a clear conclusion one more time that see is a passive act of perceiving. Why look? it is an active act of intentional observation understanding this difference can help you express yourself more precisely in various situations so thank you so much for joining me today on this journey to explore the differences between see and look i hope you found this video informative and it helps you use this word more effectively in your daily conversations remember The power of language lies in the details and understanding the nuances can make a big difference in how we express ourselves. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, 
share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more exciting language tips and knowledge. Your support keeps us going. So do like, share and comment. And in next time, keep exploring the wonderful world of language. And I will see you in the next video. Take care and happy learning.